Thames Water currently in crisis. There's even talk of a 40% hike in bills. Should nationalisation be on the table? Well, look, we don't have the time or, frankly, the money to be nationalising um, water companies right now. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to My Left Eye. Keith Thatcher, um, Starmer and his shadow cabinet have been trying to convince the public that a vote for Labour would bring meaningful change from the current government. However, another tragic appearance from a Labour MP on Sky News today only emphasised that a tick for the party in the ballot box will bring more austerity, corruption and privatisation, as well as a failure to address the growing problems that we face with climate change. Despite recent damning reports of the state of the country's waterways, and with private utility firms making record profits while millions of citizens face hardship, Labour MP Louise Hay tried to claim that the UK could not afford to bring water back into public ownership, nor would that help to lift the financial burden that many of us face when quarterly bills land on the doormat. In an interview with Sophie Ridge earlier today, you'd be forgiven for thinking that the member for Sheffield was actually from the Tory party and not the opposition. Along with recent statements from David Lammy and Rachel Reeves praising former Prime Minister and sell-off instigator Margaret Thatcher, it was a firm reminder that under Starmer's Labour Party, we'd only see a perpetuation of neoliberal conservatism that the country has suffered under for the last 45 years. Let's see what's happening. Thames Water currently in crisis. There's even talk of a 40% hike in bills. Should nationalisation be on the table? Well, look, we don't have the time or, frankly, the money to be nationalising um, water companies right now because it would take far too long to unpick the very complex regulatory and, and privatised system that we have before we saw any impact on bills or on investment in infrastructure. That is... The UK is the sixth richest nation in the world, Louise, the sixth richest nation. If you're trying to suggest that we can't afford this, that there isn't enough in the public purse to invest in it, there is. We have a thing called the Bank of England. I know that Rachel Reeves likes to ignore it and pretend that public borrowing via the Bank of England doesn't exist. The reality is that this could be done very quickly and very cheaply, and we start to see the returns almost immediately. This is nonsense. Steve Reid, the Shadow Environment Secretary, has been setting out plans for many months and calling on the government to be much tougher on regulation. It is the Tories' regulatory system that has allowed companies like Thames Water to get into huge amounts of debt whilst not investing in the infrastructure that we need. And we do need more regulation. Yes, that's why our rivers, streams, waterways are so full of crap at the moment and why there's not been any investment in things such as reservoirs since the early 90s. However, She's just contradicted herself. She can't call for investment and also at the same time say that there's no money, which isn't a cost, it's an investment that would pay for itself very quickly. You could also enforce windfall taxes on their record profits, which would help towards the cost as well. This is only a brief segment of the interview, but it speaks volumes in how a Labour government would simply perpetuate privatisation and Thatcherism, which is how we ended up in this awful situation in the first place and illegally dumping sewage in our rivers and lakes. That's why we've set out plans to put proper sanctions on water bosses that do this, and indeed criminal sanctions in the worst cases, and to radically reform the regulatory system to put financial stability at its heart. Um, we want to see water companies investing in infrastructure and putting consumers first, and we want to see the government, hopefully the next Labour government, properly cracking down on the illegal dumping of sewage. If a private company can make those kind of investments, then surely the Exchequer can. With that pledge, along with all the others being broken in the meantime, how can anyone think that a vote for Labour will bring any meaningful change from the Tories to the country? This is what you get from privatisation. You get consumers getting ripped off, record profits for private companies and a lack of investment. Because the money doesn't go back into the infrastructure, it goes into shareholder dividends. The amount of private profits we've seen already are completely obscene, and as Sophie Ridge mentioned at the start of the clip, they want bills to rise by another 40%, which is going to financially cripple millions of hard-working families all across the country. It's very difficult to see the difference between what Labour is saying here in 2024 to what Margaret Thatcher herself was spewing out back in 1989. As this clip from Implausible Blog clearly shows, vomit bags at the ready, everyone. Privatised water is a better deal than nationalised water. 
that the water privatization, I believe, will go very successfully indeed, that will go very successfully indeed, and perhaps therefore we had better wait and see so that we can pontificate in the light of the facts. New figures released by the Environment Agency show the huge scale of raw sewage being dumped by privatised water companies into rivers and seas across England last year. The spills took place for more than 3.6 million hours. So at the moment, it still looks like a case of vote Labour, get Tory at the next general election. But let us know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks so much for watching. Please hit the subscribe and thumbs up buttons to help us out on the algorithm. We've also now got the membership program open with some great perks for you to enjoy starting from just 99p. Hit the join button or follow the links in the channel description. If you'd like to make a one-off contribution then please hit super thanks on the video or follow the link to our buy me a coffee page where you can help to show solidarity and support the channel for just the price of a tasty hot beverage. All contributions are greatly appreciated. Thanks again everyone. My left eye will be seeing you soon.